hello so in this video tutorial we are going to discuss how we can add two matrices okay so the aim of this program is to compute the sum of two matrices and then print it so for example let's say that uh, i have a matrix and the matrix is something like this so the matrix is 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay i have a matrix like this and then in the next row i have something like uh, 4 5 6 so 4 comma 5 comma 6 and then in the third row i have something like 7 8 and 9 so 7 comma 8 comma 9 okay so i have this one matrix and let's say that this matrix is x okay so let's say that this uh, matrix is x so x is equal to okay All right, so I have to put one more. Okay, so this matrix is X and the value of X is all this. Okay, so now I have one more matrix and this matrix is Y. I'll name this matrix Y. So Y is equal to Y is equal to we have 9 8 and 7 9 comma 8 comma 7 then we have okay also you have to put commas over here so after each row we'll have to put commas okay so in after the first row i'm putting a comma then again i move down to the second row i put a square bracket again and i'll write 6 5 4 okay so 6 comma 5 comma 4 and we'll put a comma again move on to the third row and in the third row we'll be writing 3 comma 2 comma 1 3 comma 2 comma 1 okay so we have created two matrix matrix x and matrix y and now i want the result okay now i want the result so i want the result i want to add okay we can we have to perform the matrix addition we have to perform the matrix addition so as you can see that if i add 9 with 1 i'll get 10 if i add this 8 with 2 i'll get 10 if i add this 7 with 3 i'll get 10 similarly for all the addition of all the numbers over x and y we'll get 10 okay we'll get 10 so 10 will be the only element which we will get in uh, the in our result okay so we can use this for loop we can use for loop for iterating and by using for loop we can perform the matrix addition so how we can do that let's see let me scroll down so we can use for loop so i can write that for i in range for i in range and then we'll have to write a range so the range which i'm going to write is the length of our matrix x so length of x and we'll put a colon and get inside okay now we will have to iterate through the columns okay one four seven nine six eight so these are my columns so i'll have to iterate for x in the using the columns okay so for iterating using the columns i'll have to write j because as we all know that i and j are most familiar notations i is used for row and j is used for columns so i'll write for j in range and i'll write length we'll put a round bracket and we'll write x and we'll write the first the location of the first element which is the zeroth location as we all know that it starts from the zeroth element so for j now what we will do we will write result and we'll write i j is equal to so result i j meaning that the resultant matrix which we will get as the output so the resultant of these two matrices should be, should be x plus y okay the value of x i j plus i uh, plus y i j okay
प्लस वाई आई जे ऑल राइट सो दिस शुड बी द रिजल्ट नाउ मूविंग ऑन ओके नाउ वी विल राइट फॉर आर इन रिजल्ट ओके फॉर आर इन रिजल्ट विल पुट अ कोलोन एंड विल राइट प्रिंट आर ओके फॉर आर इन रिजल्ट प्रिंट आर ऑल राइट so this is the program which we will write and in this program we use the method of iteration so let's just execute it okay there is some error let us check what that error is let me scroll down okay all right so first the uh, mistake which we have created is we forgot to create the empty matrix for storing the result okay so we'll have to create an empty matrix for storing the result so we'll write result okay we are creating an empty matrix so let's create over here so result is equal to we'll put a square bracket put one square bracket again and we'll write 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay we'll put a comma over here and again we'll put a square bracket and write 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay we'll again put a comma outside and again we'll put a square bracket and write okay so we have created a null or an empty matrix okay and now let's see shift and enter yes now it is working absolutely fine so we have got our resultant matrix as you can see that this 9 plus 1 10 8 plus 2 10 okay 7 plus 3 10 like this we have successfully added our matrix okay and if i want to subtract the matrix let's say that i want to subtract the matrix i just have to remove this plus symbol from here okay i just have to remove this plus symbol and Put a minus, shift and enter. So we have successfully subtracted our matrix Y from our matrix X. So as you can see that if I subtract, if I subtract nine uh, from one, so I get minus eight. If I subtract eight from two, I get minus six. In the middle, if I subtract five from five, then I get zero, like this and so on. Okay. If I want to multiply. these two matrices i'll just put a multiplication symbol shift and enter so 9 ones are 9 8 2 is 16 7 3 is 21 so the results are on your screen i hope it is clear okay if i want to divide put a division symbol shift and enter so i have divided these numbers okay so yes Okay, so one divided by nine is this much, two divided by eight is this much, and so on. So in this video, we learned about how we can add matrices, how we can subtract, how we can multiply, and how we can divide matrices. Okay, so we use the we used the methods of uh, nested loops. Okay, so this method is known as nested loop. So what is nested loop? see we have a for loop inside a for loop so we have two for loops running together one for loop is in within and within the first for loop the second for loop is within the first for loop and both of them are working simultaneously so this is known as the nested loop okay so this is known as the nested loop so this is a traditional approach which we use for adding subtracting multiplying and dividing two matrices and it is one of the most commonly asked uh, questions it is most commonly asked in data science interviews so we'll meet again in the next video tutorial and i'll come up with some most uh, other common uh, frequently asked questions in interviews so, uh, till then stay tuned